I think a real problem here is that Christians who are scientists are always reacting. They're reacting because the media much prefers aggressive atheism, which creates wonderful sound bites, and then they'll ask Christian scientists to respond. But it's a response. And one of the big questions is how do we begin to take charge of the cultural agenda, to be able to set the agenda rather than continue to respond to it? I think that's going to be a long-term agenda, but I want to say two things very, very clearly. Number one, we need scientists who are going to go to the top of their field, but who see their Christian faith as being enormously important in what they're doing. And therefore, I want to say that scientists need to see themselves as being called to their place of work, to their sphere of work. They need to rise up and be able to speak about faith in those areas. And secondly, and this is the more difficult thing, I think scientists need to break away from this very great disinclination to get involved in public debates. That there is this tendency to say, this is my area, I will focus on it. No, there is a need for you to say, this is my area, I'll focus on it, but I am prepared to comment on broader issues, to talk about science and faith, to write those books like Why Scientists Believe in God, because otherwise we are always going to be the victim of this media onslaught led by atheist scientists. The more scientists there are who are Christian believers, the more we are going to be able to present faith as something that is absolutely consistent with science, and the more people there will be who prepare to enter into the public arena in debate, in comment, and in the writing of books, showing how faith enriches their science.